back, guys. I'm back. So just to show you guys how I was on the phone with clients, I'm always on the phone with clients, right? And I'm going to tell them, press record, get in front of the camera, and just be you, right? And they're like, well, I'm afraid of somebody, you know, judging me and this and that. So I'm here dressed in my Stetson, got my Stetson on, got my vest on to show you guys that I'm in the room talking to a freaking phone. So if you really, you know, are having trouble with getting out and expressing yourself and just telling the world what you do, because really where the abundance is, is just being yourself and people will love you for it. I'm being unselfish in this lifetime with what I know. And I'm here to show you guys that, hey, look, look at me. Woo, I'm looking crazy, whatever. Like, I, I really don't care about judgment and it doesn't, you know, really affect me. It used to affect me. I'm 30 now, so this is what you get. So today, we're going to be talking about something that's very a common topic that I see when I talk to clients and just people who don't really know any better. So what we get as a tax accountant, I get a lot of people who flood the gates when November and December happen, like, oh, get me ready for tax time. And I don't know where my book's at. I don't keep any good records. I don't know what I'm going to do. I had a client today, and she told me, I hate paying a lot in taxes at the end of the year. And I just, like, hate, you know, coming towards the end of the year, and I got to pay all these taxes. You know, can we fix that? So I'm trying to get her on board to actually get QuickBooks going and get her books actually set up on QuickBooks where we can see her profit and loss statement and her balance sheet so we actually know her tax liability going into uh, 2021, right? So we got two, two months left. That's why I wanted to create this video. We got two months left of 2020, right? So we got two months left of tax planning that we can do to save you guys some, some tax dollar because you guys don't want to have a big tax bill. So I'm going to break down a simple scenario. I'll try to be as simple as possible of somebody who makes W-2 income versus 1099 income. There are two types of income. W-2 income, I'm going to break it down over here. Just clean my whiteboard. W-2 income will be over here. Then you got 1099 income. So you got 1099 income and W-2 income. This independent contractor, this is you have a job, you have an employer. What happens when you make money in both scenarios? So say we're going to start with that basic scenario. You make a hundred grand, right? Your employer pays around seven point, what is it? 15, 15.3, I would say 7.8. They pay eight seven point eight percent. So if you guys can see, let me get on this side. So in W two, your employer, employer, pays seven point eight percent in self employment tax for you, right? They pay that, and then out of your paycheck, when you get your W two, you pay the other seven point eight percent is paid by you, right? So this covers your so-called self-employment tax, right? The employer pays half of it, you pay half of it through your payroll, right? And then what they do, they take out F, you see, if you guys see this, you guys see this on your W-2, federal withholdings. They take out federal withholdings at each paycheck that you get, and this amount Come back to your tax liability. So what happens is you make 100k throughout the year, right? And then towards the end of the year, say if you have taxable, and right sideways. I'm sorry, guys. I got income. So say you have taxable income of 100k. So you have a taxable income of 100k. They take out federal withholdings of let's say 30k. You guys see that? Okay, let me know in the comments if you guys can see that. Um, they take out 30k of federal 
this pin sucks. I like this pin. Turn on some music that you guys see on the board. Give me the money, I give you the props. I'll make you bring my people a portion and put them a fortune on flipping the blocks. I can be easy to pick you the bob and pay you a pick you spend you the time. Why is the world on my phone like you bought me like you was a pussy bitch? Some background music, you know, make this uh, accounting sub interesting for you guys. I'll put it on the hat for you guys. So let's back to our example. W2 income, make 100K in a year. Um, your taxable income comes out. Well, they take out the standard deduction. Let's back up. They take out your standard deduction here. Um, this is 12,400. Deduction, all right. They take out your standard deduction and your taxable income. So this is netted. Let's see where are we at 10, 90, 80, 7, 600. So it's 87,600 after your standard deduction if you're single. If you're married, found drawing, just double this number. Um, but say if we're single, we can keep it really simple. You pay the tax, your taxable income is 87,600. And what happens is this federal withholding that they took out of your paycheck throughout the year, let's say you pay tax on this, and let's be simple, you pay 10%. You pay 10% tax on this, we're going to get some more room over here. So you pay 87.60. So you pay 87.60 in taxes, right? But we got this federal withholding that your employer would help for you. And this so, so happens to be $10,000. 10000 of federal withholding, right? Your tax liability is 8760. So you take 10, you take 10,000 minus 8760. And uh, let's see what that is. Nine, I think that's like, I'm gonna pull out my calculator because I don't like using my brain when I don't have to. Alright, you got ten thousand dollars of federal withholding so minus eighty seven sixty twelve forty. So you got twelve forty coming back coming back to that account and a refund. So I'm gonna educate you guys on this because a lot of people think they make money off of taxes in the government. Um, and you kind of really don't, unless you got some really you know unique stuff going on. 100K, self-employed, I mean not self-employed, employer pays half of your um, FICA, this is FICA, this is at 15.3%, and uh, they withhold, federal withholding to King K to cover your tax liability, right? So you broke that down. And then you get 12, 12, uh, 100, 1200 bucks in a refund. This is how people get a refund. But this is a, where a disaster happens, right? Because a lot of people have been starting businesses. Um, the pandemic happened. A lot of people have been starting businesses and making this. They've been making self-employed income, which is 1099 income. So I'm going to explain to you the difference between a W-2 and now the self-employment income, which a lot of people are in this bucket, right? And they're not aware of this. So say we're gonna use the same, this person started a business and he made, Bob is our guy. We love Bob, we love Shia so Bob. He made 10, he made 100 K, he made 100 K, in gross income. So Bob made 100K in gross income from his Airbnb. He bought couches, he bought furniture for his Airbnb. Um, he has a board. He just, 
he bought around five thousand dollars of expenses. So he, he he made gross income 100k. His expenses for the year for Simplexity is five thousand dollars, which leaves him ninety five thousand dollars in net income. Right? It leaves him ninety five thousand dollars in net income, right? But he doesn't have an employer to help him pay half of his self employment tax, like right over here. He has to pay the whole self-employment tax itself on this amount. So he pays 15.3% self-employment tax. He pays 15.3% in self-employment tax on this income. And then he pays income tax. He pays income tax on that. He's around in the, what, 24, I think 24% bracket. 24% bracket. Then he pays state. Then he pays state taxes. We're going to do a 5% on there on average, 5%. This guy has an Airbnb and he made all his money. But what happens with people is they don't keep good records. So they don't really know how much they make to the end of the year, right? So if you don't know how much you make to the end of the year, say if you only, you only expense, this Airbnb guy, Bob only expense $5,000, and now it's coming up on November, he only spends five, expense $5,000. So he needs tax planning to figure out whatever he needs to kind of buy in the last two months of 2020 so he can lower this this amount. That is what tax planning is about. There's more to it, but I'm going to be really simple for people who are in this situation so where they don't keep good records and they feel that as though they do stuff on their own. They got the DIY mentality, right? I can do it myself and I don't want to hire an accountant to do it. So this is kind of what you run into. So you pay 15.3%, 40, uh, around 40% of taxes. pay around 40% total on a dollar when you are 1099 and it kills people because they don't realize this and they make all of this money here 10k and they go withdraw it and they don't spend it in the business they go pay their rent they go pay for a vacation somewhere then this ten thousand uh, this hundred thousand dollars is gone and then they got a 40 percent tax liability that's uh, 40 percent just for simplexity of 100k is forty thousand dollars in taxes that they owe now they are in a situation to where now they owe back taxes all right so if you don't capture this early like while you guys are starting your businesses you guys can get into a tax snowball so they said kevin hart when he started off he didn't know financial literacy he made all his money doing stand-up comedy he'll go spend it and now he didn't have good people in his corner. And then he had this huge tax liability at the end of the year that he couldn't cover. So the next year he spent all of his money trying to pay back taxes. And then he's paying taxes on the money he's making in the current year. So he's just like not making any. This 40% in the next year becomes another 40%. You pay 80% on what do you make and you got back taxes. So don't get in this situation. We don't want to get you guys in this situation you guys want to seek out some help seek an accountant out seek a cpa out to really help you guys for tax planning um for the end of the year i hope i've been able to explain this with my cowboy hat so that caused a lot of viewers to click on this video um but yeah reach out to me at duckleyaccountingservices.com go look at my cool website I have up there, I got a, um, a link where you can schedule a free 10 to 15 minute consultation with me, free of charge, just to see where you're at and see if we're in line, see if we can actually work together. You know, I really don't, you know, pressure or sell people on anything. I know what I know. I've just been blessed to be, be exposed um, to more things in life, right? I've been blessed to be exposed to 
more things in life and I want to be unselfish with it. So use me up. So that's been my rant for today. For you guys who are looking to get into business and to get into social media, just post, press record. Like get out there and like fuck up. Fuck up and be seen. Like suck and be seen is the go-to. Like just be yourself, right? If I stutter, ugh, stutter. Like nobody's gonna freaking care. You gonna judge me for a minute. Then you're gonna go eat dinner with your family. You're not really gonna care. But get out there and live now. And most of all, I'm gonna coin this phrase. Do more. Alright, see you guys.